The first Tuesday of May is World Asthma Day, a day to educate people of the lifelong impacts of this disease. At ECU Health, their pediatric asthma program has served Eastern North Carolina for more than 25 years. Out of your side, Sarah Gray Barr caught up with the program to see how they're supporting both patients and families. Sarah Gray, what did they tell you? Ken, Angie, asthma attacks are preventable, and I've been told that the first step to managing asthma is education. I spoke with respiratory therapists, clinic managers, and even parents to learn how ECU's program is helping children live better lives. Asthma is a respiratory condition, making it hard to breathe. It's set off by environmental triggers. It could be like um, seasonal allergies, kind of the environment. So recently we had that forest fire, so that was a big one. We saw an influx of patients for that. Emily Wood is the parent of one of the many children ECU Health treats. She says her daughter, Madeline, was diagnosed with asthma at age two after multiple hospital visits. She was my first child, brand new parent, and I was really scared and we didn't really know what was going on at first, but then she was diagnosed with asthma. After diagnosis, Madeline received a visit from the pediatric asthma team. We do education in the clinics, education in the hospitals. We go out and we do education in the field through home visits. She came to my house and she educated me on asthma as a disease process. She educated me on the medications and the supplies that have to do with asthma. Asthma is a lifelong thing. We get them set up with a team that works with them kind of throughout their life and teaches them the skills and the techniques to use to help it. Asthma isn't always thought of as severe as a disease as it is. Now Madeline is 14. It makes me feel really good because now she's 14 years old, so she's not here with me all the time. She's away at school, she's with friends, and she knows how to handle her asthma should she have problems come up. Those I spoke to say they want to lower the number of children going to the emergency department for asthma attacks and increase the overall quality of life for these children. We'll have the team's contact information on our website at WNCT.com. In studio, Sarah Gray Barg, 9 on your side.